Construction. What's up guys, coming at you with another episode, and if you haven't figured it out already, today we are playing Korea. And I love playing Korea. Korea is one of those countries that there's a lot of stuff you can do. You can really throw off your opponent because they can expect you to do one thing and you do another, and that's that's the cool thing about Korea and how dynamic they can be. So for example, if you if you play Soviet on just a land map, there's really only one thing you can do. You build a bunch of tanks and you go in, that's it. But with Korea, you can hit them from the air or you can do tanks and your opponent doesn't necessarily know which one you're gonna do. So this guy, in this first game, even before I show him any jets, he's already building air defense. So I could have just built tanks and made him waste his money, but for the sake of the video, I wanted to, you know, and to have some fun, I wanted to build the jets. That's, that's the most fun part about playing Korea in the first place. Building. Unit ready. Building. Training. Unit ready. The tricky part about playing Korea though is unless you have a insane amount of money supply, it's very hard to keep your money flow up because you're building the jets, you're building tanks, and you're building rocketeers all at once. I mean that's huge. Ready as ever. You'll get the cash in a flash. Unit ready. And that's one thing that I actually struggled with because I don't I don't play Korea all the time, um, but I I just enjoy playing them. But one thing I struggled with was, you know, keeping my money flow good enough to keep up with what I was trying to build. Unit ready. Unit reporting. I can go anywhere. Destination securing position. Eagle Squadron. Unit ready. Black Eagle reporting. Unit ready. So I can see that he's got me beat. I can't really hit anything in his base. So I decide to go for his money supply, which is going to be really important because he's getting those gems. Ready to soar. Standing by. Check out the command receiver. Unit ready. I can go anywhere. Unit ready. Got a steady So I get in and out. Didn't even lose a rocketeer. And you notice I'm really stretching my base out to make sure I can hit all the ore spots and that's one of the things that I talked about in my top five videos. You really want to stretch so your miners don't have to go very far. And that's why I just built a second barracks because the refinery, if I built it right there, it wouldn't quite have reached the gold. So I built a barracks to get a little bit closer and then place the refinery. So I'm gonna go after this miner now. Unit ready. Got a steady flow. Construction complete. Riding high. Got a steady flow. Unit ready. I'll take the high road. So he's already got his flak tanks up there, so Unit I can't ready. send in the rocketeers. Cannot deploy here. Unit ready. Standing by. Standing by. Unit Eagle ready. Squad. Standing by. So with Korea, you really want to make sure that as soon as their payloads are refilled, you, you go in again. You don't want to waste time not attacking with your jets, that's the whole point. So now I took out his air defense up there, so I can go right back in with these jets as soon as that miner comes back. Unit ready. Yes, sir. But now I've I've kind of made him impatient, it looks like, because he knows that if I keep picking away at him, he's going to eventually lose, so he's going to try and come in at me. And it didn't go so well for him. He built, you know, three different air defenses in his base, but I still found a way to make it work outside of his base. So this is my normal setup for dogs on this map. I'll send the first one over towards their base to try and get an engineer. That didn't work out. 
And then I'll have one dog kind of towards my base to protect from that angle, and one dog on the other side to protect from that angle. And then sometimes I'll even build a sentry gun. Well, most times I do build it, but I don't place it. Well, in this case, it'd be a pillbox. I don't place it, though, unless there's a like a really nearby dog. And I always try and scout that island just to make sure I can see what he's building over there. Ooh, that dog almost got my engineer. I wasn't paying attention. So you notice I'm really keeping track of how much of a tank advantage he's got. Because if I don't keep it in check, he can just come over and take me out pretty easily. So I come up with a attack pretty early here to slow him down. And nine times out of ten, it's going to be power. Always go for the power. Slows down his build. And they're pretty easy to take out. Now this is kind of a risk here, taking out his refinery, because I know he should be building one anyways. But I don't think he is, because he just built that power. So now, he literally just placed that power, wasn't building a refinery, and now he could be really behind. So yeah, so there, he just built another power, which means he's still not building a refinery, which means his money is going to be very low. Unit ready. Unit lost. Unit and I know to in order to seal the game, I can't let him get a dreadnought, so I got to take out his battle lab. And the nice part about the jets is they can take it out with just four, so I don't even need to send in any rocketeers. Insufficient funds. Unit ready. Unit ready. Unit ready. So now I'm pretty comfortable with my advantage. He still doesn't have a refinery up, so I basically just dismantled him with my jets. Didn't even use a tank until the very end of the game. And he hasn't been building tanks in probably two or three minutes, so this is way too easy. So this guy, he wanted a rematch, and I'm convinced that he's going to try and rush me so that I can't use my jets, because it'll just be too soon for me to even have them. So that's the awesome part about Korea, is you don't have to build jets. So in this match, this rematch, same map, same spot, I'm not even going to build a jet. Building. Unable to comply. Building in progress. I've got the knowledge. New construction options. Oil refinery captured. Acquiring additional resources. Oh, I didn't even notice that in the game, but it looks like he didn't even stop to build a miner out of his war factory. He went straight tanks, so... There's the definition of a rush. Unit ready. Structure sold. Building. Unit ready. Unit lost. So he's got three tanks. I've got two. I've got three now, but his are way stronger than mine. Unit ready. Unit lost. Uh, the dog just took out like all of my dogs and a GI. Alright, so here he comes. So the first thing I do when I notice that he's coming is I start a pillbox and build some dogs. It's really important to have fodder and dogs that are really good for soaking up some damage. So I wait for him to come in, starts attacking, drop the pillbox. And that way as soon as he goes to back up, that pillbox has taken up some of the damage and not my tanks. So I get another pillbox, so he's hitting that as well and he's toast. So that's how you defend against a rush. Construction complete. 
Obviously, you wait for him to attack you and then drop the pillbox or the sentry gun right in the middle of it, and that way it soaks up some damage. But Korea, you can really piss people off, and it's, it's so much fun to play because, check this out, this was pretty early into the game. <laughs> These guys just get so angry. <laughs> and same thing here. I mean, Korea can get really annoying if you're not paying attention. So I just took out two of his tanks because he wasn't really paying attention. Now he's got to keep wasting money on air defense. And that's the cool thing about Korea is, yeah, the jets are a lot of money, but if you can take out a couple structures or a couple tanks with them, they pay for themselves. So this is another example of this guy getting kind of impatient because I've been picking away at him with my planes. <laughs> this match, my luck ran out. I think my biggest problem with this match was I I waited too late to decide to go air. I think if when you're playing Korea, you need to go into it with the mentality of you're either gonna build air or you're not. And in this one, I waited like halfway through the game to even start building. I would have had a decent shot to win if I would have just stuck with tanks here. But for whatever reason, I, I tried to build planes. And I think I even ended up canceling them. So yeah, I canceled them, and now I've got my money flow back, but it's, I'm, you know, plenty of tanks behind now. So I'm just trying to defend the miners here. And then if I have to, I'll use them as fodder. But either way, it's not looking good for me. And then he really pins me here with those conscripts. Luckily, I ran him over. I think he just got at least one of my tanks with that oil. And I'm toast. Thanks for watching as usual. Please be sure to like and subscribe. It helps me out. Hope you guys try out Korea. I always enjoy playing it. And we'll see you next time. Peace!